Today we're gonna look at Ambio cards. Hey everyone, sorry it's been a few weeks. We had some scheduling conflicts after E3 and then plus we had family in town so it's just been a little crazy. Also, I've been dieting for the past few weeks and somehow I've gained a little bit of voice through that. As you saw before my video, before my reaction, it was kind of like but now it's actually starting to come back since I'm eating a lot cleaner and healthier because you know being prone to acid reflux and then getting pregnant and getting even more acid reflux and then eating everything you want because you're pregnant doesn't really mix all well. So I wasn't doing my voice any favors but now that I am trying to lose a little bit of my baby fat I'm actually gaining my voice back which is great. It still cracks a little but we're gonna deal with it. So I don't know how much I'll actually have um, my brother and Taylor, um, my husband, uh, voice over my videos from here on out. It just depends on how my voice is doing. But today it's doing great and it's been doing great for the past couple weeks. So I guess we'll just get on with the video then. So even though I didn't get to put together a New Horizons analysis video, I still looked over every detail. I am so excited. All the graphics look beautiful. Being able to build from the ground up is so amazing. It, it, they're giving us all the customization we wanted for so long. We haven't even seen the half of it, I'm sure. There's more to come. But one thing they did mention at E3 is that there should be Amiibo compatibility, from what I believe. And I would hope so, because I'm about to show you... Do I call it pride and joy? Because I don't feel pride and joy. <laughs> I have a complete, fully complete Animal Crossing Amiibo card collection. Now these cards started coming out back when Animal Crossing Home Designer or Happy Home Designer first came out. And when I say I have every card, I'm talking about I have every card from all four series, which each series has a hundred cards each, so 400 cards there. Then there's three special cards from Amiibo Festival, which I sadly bought at full price back when it first came out. Ow. Then there's the six Sanrio collaboration cards that I got as well. And the 50 RV Welcome Amiibo cards that came out with the Welcome Amiibo update. And there are two special cards that came out in Japanese magazines over the past few years. I got most of these cards back when they first came out and I did a lot of trading and that's how I was able to complete the first 400 collection. But I did have to buy a, a couple of the 50 Welcome Amiibo cards because it was just impossible to trade them Welcome Amiibo cards. They're so rare. Now, when you think Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, you don't really think, oh wow, that's a lot of money. Well, guess what? It is. And of course, I have all of my priceless Amiibo cards in this Pokemon album. Now, not everything in this album is um, Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. There's also e-reader cards, and there are Pokemon cards, and there are Neopet cards from those days. So this is just my overall card collection, honestly, but the Amiibo definitely take up a big chunk. Now, the first series, series one, is made up of 100 cards, and if you go on eBay, you can get the whole 100 card set for about 90 to 100 bucks. It just depends on what you find out there. Um, some cards are worth more than others, but for the most part, cards are worth about a dollar. Um, just because when you bought the Amiibo packs, it was $6 for six cards, so people range them about to be a dollar a piece. So, yeah. Um, I bought a lot of these packs, and I traded for a lot of the ones that I did not have, so that way I didn't buy more cards. Then we get into the three Amiibo Festival cards, which are basically worth nothing because you can get the whole box for like five bucks. You got Rosie, Goldie, and Stitches. And then starting here, I have my Series 2 cards, which are is another set of 100 cards. And those cards go for about a dollar a piece as well. And that goes for most of the regular Series cards. And there's 100 of them, once again, like Series 1. So about a dollar a piece. You can find the full set of them on eBay for about 90 to $100 as well. Then starting here with Rover, you get into Series 3 and there's another 100 cards, and they also go for about 90 to 100 bucks on eBay. 
and a dollar a piece. But yeah, there's just a lot of And then starting here with Isabel in this cute little dress, we get into series four, which consists of another hundred cards, which also go for about a dollar a piece. Some of them are worth more than others. Some may actually be below a dollar, but all together, you can buy them for about 90 to 100 bucks on eBay as well. And all of these prices are based off of what I searched before making this video. So July, 2019, that's what these prices are. We'll see if the prices go down or up when um, we get more information on New Horizons, but right now, after New Horizons was announced and the, there was possible Amiibo functionality, the prices I noticed went up. Starting here, we get into the 50 RV Welcome Amiibo cards, which are very hard to get. Like, I actually was so surprised when I went to Japan into this random used goods shop that had um, new packs and I bought some. I wish I bought more. I honestly should have bought more because they were only $3 a pack. But I did get my hands on some and so some of my collection is in Japanese um, while the rest of it is in English but that's okay because these cards are so hard to come by. They are so incredibly hard and uh, they go for a lot more than a dollar a piece because they are so rare to find. From what I saw of the RV card pricing for all 50 sold together, it went from anywhere from 160 to $500. Yeah, somebody bought this full 50 set for $500 recently on eBay, which, you know, props to you, but that is just insane. I didn't pay nearly as much for these cards. Then, starting with Rila the Gorilla here, you get your six Sanrio Amiibo cards that were a collaboration with San Rio. <laughs> and of course, I had to get my hands on them because San Rio and Animal Crossing are two of my favorite worlds put together into these cards and I love them so much. And then last but not least are these two cards right here. These are very special cards. They only came in two Japanese um, magazines. This card of Isabel came from the Japanese magazine uh, Kara Parfait, I believe is how you pronounce it. I don't know for sure. Um, it's actually very hard to find. I barely knew about this card. I barely knew. And so if there are other cards out there from other magazines, I don't know. But all my research could find was this one and then this KK Slider card, which I'll get into in a minute. But I paid about $50 for this card because it's so hard to find. It doesn't come on eBay very often, and when it does, it's about the same price, which is $50. $50 just for this one card. <laughs> then you have my last card, which comes from the Piri Kira magazine, which I think I'm pronouncing correctly, but it's a Japanese magazine. They have some free gifts sometimes. But one of the um, magazines came with this KK slider. Now, I, this is sealed. I have never opened it. This has never been opened. Um, but I got this with the magazine in Japan when I was there. So I bought it for retail, well, general retail price, which was about three to five dollars. I should have bought more magazines. I don't know if there were more, but I should have bought more because these things are so expensive. This card with the magazine goes from anywhere between $90 and $150 just for this card and possibly the magazine, depends on the bundle you find. So when you total these cards up based off of the selling price on eBay right now, these cards all together are worth about $1,700. That's so crazy to think that this silly Pokemon binder is full of Animal Crossing cards that total up to about $1,700. It, that's just mind-boggling and I made I wanted to make this video because I was just like that is so crazy because I've been watching um, The cards for years now because I was an avid collector of them and I never thought that they would get to this Insane price level and I honestly think that the price range for the special cards right now like the RV cards and such I think they went up since it's getting harder and harder to get them and now there's a new game that's been announced, so I think 
they're in more demand to be collected at the moment because now you've got more people who used to play Animal Crossing um, a lot that are now getting back into it in, in the anticipation for the new game. So yeah, I could put this towards my daughter's college tuition, but my happiness is worth more. Now I do also have e-reader cards, but I don't know if I'll ever try to collect them all, but I definitely tried to collect them. Um, just because they're very rare to get like one pack is worth like $15 alone and you only get like six cards so yeah I don't think I'll be collecting those anytime soon but I do like getting them because they're Animal Crossing but I do have one pack to open that I got from a dear friend during Christmas and I figured since I'm talking about cards I might as well open the pack today I mean, I want to I want to try to make sure that I don't like ruin the foil because I actually want to save the foil. <laughs> now to get the cards out. I opened it. it. Oh, okay. Now, as my husband does on Poketot, we turn them around and we do one, two, three to the front, and then we have our rare on the back, right? Ain't that right, honey? Which our rare is a booklet <laughs> for the Animal Crossing e-cards. Anyways, we Oh cool, we got Billy. I don't think I have him. I might have Octavian, I'm not sure. Uh, Nosegay? 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 How do you say that? I don't, I, I don't know. And then Comrade KK. I always love the art of the KK slider songs on these cards. It, it's so cool to see them up close and personal. And then we have Valise. I'm pretty sure I have Octavian. But um, the other cards I don't have, especially Comrade KK, I don't have that one. So that's really cool. I get to add those to my e-reader card collection that I'll probably never finish unless somebody just gives me their whole e-reader collection, which will probably never happen because they're worth something, I'm sure. Anyways, thanks for watching. I have another video coming out next weekend probably, depends on my scheduling, but it should be coming out around then. So look forward to that and more content coming your way very soon. Now I'm gonna go debate with myself on why I keep a $1,700 card collection instead of selling it like an adult. Bye. What? What? <gasps> They're my cards. I get to open them. Thank you. No. <laughs> no. They're my cards to open.